So this is for my ladies that eventually made it to the interview stage of the Women Tech Stars Fellowship application. Oh my god, I'm so proud of you guys right now. Like I'm really proud of you guys. I'm proud of how far you've come through in this journey. And yes, this is the video you've been waiting for. You guys have asked me a lot of questions about the interview stage. Oh, what should I do? How do I prepare? So first of all, you have to note that the interview is virtual, right? It's going to be virtual and you most likely use Microsoft Teams. WTF likes to use Microsoft Teams a lot. So that they're not really testing what you know per se. What they want to see majorly is how you can communicate what you know, right? Your motivations, how sure you are about what you want to do. I mean, you feel out a lot of things in your essays, right? You feel out a lot of things, you said a lot of things. They want to see how you can actually communicate those things that you said earlier in words, like physically. I mean, some people are good with writing, but some people are, but some of us are not good with speaking, some of us are not good with good with expressing ourselves. So okay, be relaxed, talk clearly and fluently, don't rush. Don't be too slow, just communicate clearly and fluently, okay? Put in the right energy, don't be too dull, don't make the call dull or boring, don't answer questions with one one words or one one answers, don't seem like you're not interested. I mean, you need this thing, right? You need you need the scholarship, so you should be able to prove it to them that you actually need to them ask you to tell them about yourself. So for example, they say just tell me about yourself, oh, I'm a tech nutritionist, I'm this, I'm that, I'm that, I have interest in data analysis, I've taken some crash courses in data analysis, I have a little background on it and i just want to you know advance my career with wtf something like that just tell them like a background story about yourself what you've done so far and what you plan like what your next plans are also they might want to check your knowledge like what you know about your track i mean they've checked that in the technical assessment stage right? but they may just ask you one or two questions regarding the learning track that you have chosen so don't panic okay don't panic just tell them what you know so meaning that you also must have done your research i mean you shouldn't even pass the technical assessment stage you can't answer little basic questions about your learning track right they also ask you that where do you see yourself in the next few years or where do you see yourself after this training so make sure you are prepared for that question if you don't know where you'll see yourself yet now is the time to start finding out where you'll see yourself okay start preparing for that question also please note that they don't expect you to be perfect they don't expect you to be an expert yet okay they're not looking for guru i mean it's not a job interview right so they're not looking for perfect people they're just looking for people that are willing to learn people that are willing to grow or people that are willing to push further when things get tough because i mean the journey is going to be really tough and rigorous so they don't want slack people they don't want people that are not ready to push beyond their limit oh, also please note something if they ask you a question that you don't know much about don't say i don't know it it's not saying i don't know it why don't you just say I don't know much about this yet, but I'm willing to learn more and I'm, I'm willing to make more research about it. You get it gives them the sense that okay, you don't know it's fine, but then you're willing to even make effort to learn about it instead of just outright saying, Oh, I don't know, I don't know, and that is it. Another thing you should notice that the kind of vibe you give them matters a lot. So sit properly. I mean sit sit properly like this, okay? Because your video is gonna be on all through the interview. So make sure you are properly dressed, make sure you sit down properly face the camera like look straight into the camera don't look around don't look down there nothing you're looking at on the ground person you're talking to is not on the ground person is on your screen right so make sure you keep an eye on your screen don't look around look directly into the camera be bold and smile please smile like <gasps> even if not it's funny just you know give them a very good smile and talk clearly make sure that your words are well articulated and clear and fluent okay just be yourself be yourself don't do too much and don't do less of you then also please make sure that your internet connection is stable um if you're using your phone or your laptop make sure it's not charged make sure your notifications are on silent you know just take away distractions take the interview in a very quiet place in a quiet room if possible just you alone in the room so that you won't be distracted because for someone like me i get distracted like quite easily so just be alone in the room um make sure it's quiet make sure you put things in place not that oh i'm um, doing the interview your phone's about to go off that's when you're not standing up plugging those, those kind of things doesn't speak on because one of the things you look out for again is professionalism it's not a job interview right but again you have to exhibit those traits also finally when you are done if they ask you a question like do you have any question for us hey i beg she make i need down i can need down i beg see i'm need down don't say don't say no don't say i don't have any question for you if you don't in fact right if i from now can't prepare the question that you want to ask them if you know you will forget write it down somewhere that question i will ask 
after because they would always ask you that do you have any question for us right so they expect that you have a question for them like that that's like one of the major rule of an interview when someone is interviewing you they, have, they expect that you have questions for them right so the moment to say no or more that's like no but one turn off so imagine that you didn't have a good scores from the beginning like through the interview and, and everything and then at that point again you say no turn off you can ask them question like oh so um when you're done with your training with your six months training um what would the soft skills face be like right so it shows that oh, you've made your research you already know that okay there are different faces in the program so you're interested asking question is like a very 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 great flag and in fact you see yourself in the interview already because if you're asking questions like what would be the mode of our classes of our lectures or how many hours will our lectures take per day or what platform would you be using for lectures what's our project going to be like it shows that oh you feel like you do you are going to ace the interview stage and um you see yourself in the fellowship already like you see yourself acing the interview stage already right so it's a very green flag don't miss out on that please so at the end of the day interviews are not really about knowing everything it's just about showing potential be curious to learn be ready to learn be ready to know more be open and be confident that's it those are the few ingredients you need like the ingredients you know pass them well shocky not the okay if you know you need so if this video helped you don't go yet make sure you like it make sure you drop a comment at least tell me thank you now and then try for now they try for you people tell me thank you drop a comment say something sweet in the comment section tag somebody that also made it to, to the interview stage share it with your friends let them also watch this let them learn at least there's something sweet about you and your friends getting into a fellowship together right it shows that you guys are winning together so don't be selfish i know you learned a lot from this video go and share it so your friends share the link copy the link share it across all platforms and let people and also follow me if you're not following me yes follow me happy at least i did try for now thank you